Are you ready, Monarch fans? It's time for the Old Dominion Football Show with Bruce Rader and Coach Bobby Wilder, sponsored by Town Bank. With only three games left in the regular season, the Old Dominion football team gets a much needed bye week to heal up, rest up, study up in class, and get ready for a very good North Texas team at SB Ballard Stadium a week from Saturday. So does that mean that Coach Bobby Wilder and his staff is taking the week off? I wouldn't think so. Let's find out. The Old Dominion football show starts now. I'm Bruce Rader along with Coach Bobby Wilder with no game to be played on Saturday. I know that you've let the players off this entire week, right. but I'm assuming that you and your staff have mm -hmm. plenty to do. Yeah, we'll work all seven days this week, Bruce. All ten full-time coaches left on Sunday, the day after the game, and we're all across America right now recruiting. The focus is being in junior colleges, primarily looking at defensive players, a couple positions on offense, but primarily defensive players to get immediate help. Our players, Bruce, five days away from football, but they're still lifting. They're in the training room getting healthy, focused on academics. About half of our 70 on the travel team have some bumps or bruises. Hopeful, Bruce, to get seven players back for next week's game that missed last week's game. Jeremy Cox, running back on offense, who rushed for 130 yards against Virginia Tech, has not been healthy. Keyshawn Strong's had to carry a bigger load. Hopefully Jeremy's back. And then five players on defense that we need back for this game. So that's the focus this week. Well, let's get a little more specific mm -hmm. because none more important than your running back, Jeremy Cox, right. who I know you expected a lot of mm -hmm. this season. Would you assume mm -hmm. that he will be ready for next Saturday's game? Yeah, I talked to Jeremy today. He said, Coach, I'm, I'm going to be ready for practice Friday. We'll have our first, first practice, Bruce, on Friday, and then we'll practice again Sunday. He said he's going to be ready to go Friday. Our, Nick, our, our trainer, uh, Nick Turner, believes he'll be back and, and closer to 100%. All right. Well, we have seen plenty of Old Dominion players make it in the NFL in the short 10 years that the program has been in existence, but we have never seen a defensive player as talented as our special guest this week, defensive end O'Shane Zimenez. Welcome to the Old Dominion football show. I know that you're happy to have a week off. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, give me some time to catch up on homework, time to just have some downtime with the guys and just hang out with my teammates and just enjoy their company. Now, Coach, let me tell you something. This young man has been making a lot of noise all season, uh, led by, of course, that upset of Virginia Tech. And so far, 24 tackles, if I'm correct, eight and a half sacks, which mm -hmm. ties the Monarchs all-time sack record right. that you sat, set last year, and mm -hmm. you still have three games to play. Yeah, he's been to this point, Bruce, and we're talking about a season where he's been double teamed. At times, triple teamed. He's got a tackle tight end blocking him. He's got a tackle or a back coming out. He's never been left alone in one-on-one -on -one situations uh, throughout the season. And teams have thrown the ball quick to try to avoid him. He's been the consummate team player. He's an outstanding student. He's an even better person uh, and is clearly one of the best football players we've ever had at Old Dominion. All right, O'Shane, you've gone from being a two-star high school recruit to a potential All-American and perhaps a first round NFL draft pick mm -hmm. this coming year. What turned things around for you once you got to Old Dominion? Uh, I'll definitely say, I'll, I'll relate that back to coaching. You know what I'm saying? From the day one I got on this campus, this coaching staff believed in me. Uh, I could prove that because I'm a four year starter. I started every single game I play here. They've pushed me, they've motivated me every single day to be the best person I could be. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they gave me the drive and my work ethic I needed to be as successful as I am today. Now, I saw in one mock draft, and of course mm -hmm. there are many of them, the Packers taking you in the first round as a long-term replacement for Clay Matthews. Now, I know right now you're only interested in your next three college games, but come on, man, you see that kind of stuff, it's got to make you feel good. Oh, yeah, it definitely does, and uh, that's ultimately my goal. I want to be the best. Everything I do every single day is to be the best. So to see that people are considering me among the best in the country is just, it's, it's a feeling that I can't explain because you finally see all the hard work you put in every single day to pay off. And to get to that point, that's what I plan on doing, just keep working hard every single day, staying humble, staying motivated, bringing my teammates along with me, and just having everybody along for the ride. 
Coach, before we talk about North Texas, I know that you were disappointed by mm -hmm. last week's homecoming of performance against Middle mm -hmm. Tennessee, but you and I had talked about this last week, that Middle right. Tennessee is one game away from being bowl eligible. Yeah, and the most disappointing thing for O'Shane, myself, everybody within our team, Bruce, is that that should have been a one-score game. That should have been similar to Western Kentucky, uh, which was a 37-34 game, something along that. We turned the ball over five times on offense, which is uncharacteristic of us. Give Middle Tennessee credit. They made a lot of plays. And also, Bruce, this has never happened to us before. Two for seven in the red zone on offense, meaning you get down inside the 25-yard line, you're thinking at least a field goal. We only got 10 points out of a possible 49, and then we had some breakdowns, missed tackles on, on defense that allowed some scores. So it was, a, I felt like, an uncharacteristic game for us. A lot of credit to them for taking advantage of our mistakes. And now you got a couple of weeks to coach up for the next one. When we come back, you know, he's having one of the best seasons as a receiver in Old Dominion history. And his reward, the one-minute drill with Nathan Epstein next on the Old Dominion Football Show. Welcome back to the Old Dominion Football Show. I'm Nathan Epstein with the One Minute Drill. You may know this guy joining us this week. It is Jonathan Duhart. Who is the best dressed player on the team? Ooh, that's tough. I'll give it to a tie between my man Jay Noy and, uh, and Jamez and Brickhouse. Well, who's the worst dressed player on the team? I'm going to say it's somebody on the O-line. You know, I love the O-line, but it's, it's some of them that, you know, they're... Not willing to name any names? Nah, I don't want to throw anybody completely under the bus. What is the best road trip memory that you have with these guys? FIU, my sophomore year, I believe. Uh, we stayed in a nice hotel, had a pool out, and you know, everybody had a good time playing around the pool. I guess, is there a bad road trip memory in there somewhere? Back when we had uh, Darius Garcia, uh, he was usually my road roommate, because uh, we were the same, we went to the same uh, high school and all that stuff. And I used to try, you know, get on his nerves and all that stuff. And he, uh, by the time he got fed up with me and we got in a fight and I lost it. <laughs> You're a big guy, so I mean, I didn't, I didn't like that one too much. Best Netflix watch is what? I'm gonna go, I like The Punisher. That was a good show. Oh, Love Actually. Thank me later. Describe to me the perfect day off. Literally in the bed the whole day. Ice cream, maybe, some snacks. Still knows what he's doing. Jonathan Duhart, the wide receiver. Jonathan Duhart, say goodbye to the Monarch Nation. Thank you, 12 Monarchs. Y'all take it easy. Coach, uh, you've coached some outstanding wide receivers in your career, but really, Jonathan's one of the best. Yeah, O'Shea and I have a bone to pick with him, though. Best road trip, the Bahamas Bowl. That's okay. what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. He, he has been outstanding, Bruce. And remember, last year he had the injury. He had to have surgery on his foot. He played in two games, then was redshirted. So for him to come back, and he was not completely healthy this year, Bruce, until the end of preseason. He's been dominant this year, been an outstanding player for us graduated, done everything we ask in our AIM High philosophy about the person, student, athlete. That's been Jonathan Duhart. Well, Shane, you have to practice against him every day. I'll bet you're glad that Jonathan and Travis and Isaiah are on your team. That's a pretty good group of wide receivers. Oh, man, those guys, there is just no telling what they'll do. You know what I'm saying? You come to practice and you got Trav jumping over people, doing backflips. He's just an amazing athlete, you know what I'm saying? And to go back to Dewey, you know, what we in the locker room, everybody calls him Dewey. It's short for Dew Hart. It's his nickname. Um, like I said, Dewey, he's a great dude. Like, like Coach Water said on the field, he's an amazing athlete, one of the best receivers to ever play here. And off the field, he's just as good as a person. You know what I'm saying? Guys can come to him in the locker room. He always got a good joke to tell, always got a smile on the face. And, you know, we love him here at ODU. All right. So why did O'Shane decide to come to Old Dominion? I'm going to ask you that next as the Old Dominion football show continues. Bruce Rader back with Coach Bobby Wilder and our special guest defensive end, O'Shane Zimenez. O'Shane, what was it that led you to Old Dominion out of uh, Hertford County High School down in Ahoski, North Carolina, one of my favorite places? <laughs> um, Ahoski is a great place. Um, but basically, it's, it's always been a lifelong dream to uh, play at the highest level, which is Division I football as a high school football player. Um, and looking back when I was in eighth grade, that's when I really decided, you know what I'm saying, football is something I want to do long term. Something I love, something I want to do for the rest of my life. And somebody I really look, looked up to in Antonio Vaughn, which is one of the leading receivers at ODU, he was a, a, a player here and I saw all the success. Like I used to 
watched the news, and I used to see Antonio Vaughn with all the touchdown catches, and I knew. And you went to the same high school? Yeah, me and Antonio, we went to the same high school, uh, Hereford County High School. And um, I used to see him having a lot of success at Old Dominion, and I was like, you know, I want to do that. I want to follow his footsteps and be somebody uh, that's successful at a Division One program. So I decided to email one of the ODU coaches. Uh, I think it was Coach Cotton. He was the D-line mm -hmm. coach at the time. And I basically sent the email and telling him, you know what I'm saying, I'm a, I think I was like 5'9", five, five, 140 pounds, something like that. Mm -hmm. Basically telling him my height and weight. And basically, I want to be your next defensive end. I want to be your next defensive player. And I, he didn't respond at the time. I didn't get a response. But, you know what I'm saying, it just shows you it was a dream to come to Ode Dominion and play football. And it's something I lived out since my eighth grade year. And I'm glad it came true. Well, it was a dream for the coach. Yes, it, was it was a dream for the fans. Thanks for being with us, buddy. You're good. <laughs> good Next good week, job. it's the Bruce and O'Shane Old Dominion Football <laughs> Show. So <laughs> it'll give you a week <laughs> off. We'll He's see. He's that you. good. You can also watch our show online. Go to wavy.com. Click on sports. Have a great night, everybody.